Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create true professional stereo panning in Cakewalk. If you have tried to mix stereo tracks in Cakewalk, you may have noticed that Cakewalk tracks only have one pan knob, so you can't use it to do true pro stereo panning. Now here I have a stereo track. On the right channel I have a guitar and on the left channel I have a bass guitar. Now when I press on the pan knob and drag up until it is set to 100% right, all you can hear is the guitar. And if I set it to 100% left, you can only hear the bass guitar. So when the pan knob is dragged right, the pan knob is simply reducing the volume of the left stereo channel. And when the pan knob is dragged left, the pan knob is simply reducing the volume of the right stereo channel. So this is not true stereo panning. Pro Tools has two pan knobs on stereo tracks, one for the left channel and one for the right channel. And that's what we really want here. In Cakewalk though, there is no option for two pan knobs. But there is another way to get true stereo panning. Click on the plus icon on the effects section of the stereo track. Click on insert audio effects. Click on spatial and panner. Then click on Channel Tools. There should be a blue light image on the stereo button icon and a blue light image on the power button icon. Stereo panning is done by dragging the knob icon labeled L for the left channel and the knob icon labelled R for the right channel. The dot marks the centre point of the stereo mix. So here I can drag the bass guitar on the left channel to the centre of the stereo mix. And drag the guitar on the right channel about halfway between the centre and full right. I can also press on one of the knobs each side of the L and R knobs and drag them left or right to change how wide the guitar or bass guitar sound is in the stereo mix. So here I will make the guitar sound a bit wider in the stereo mix. So now if I play the track again and press on the power button icon to turn off the channel tools and then press on the power button again to turn the channel tools back on, you can hear the difference.
When you are happy with the panning, click on the X icon. And if you need to change the panning again, click on Channel Tools in the FX section of the track header. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.